legendary gear. Until all but very recently, it was the highest obtainable rarity in game. But is it worth the countless hours of farming, grinding, and buying to get your hands on this level of equipment? And more importantly, is it worth the effort to obtain a legendary frozen bracelet? In this video, I'm going to tackle that question and more, coming up right after this. What's up guys, it's your boy Gazda, back at it again with some new Archero content for my Archero series on my YouTube channel. And if you're new to this series on my channel, this is where we play Archero, which is a mobile game developed by Happy Studios, available on Android and iOS. And in this series, we cover content like gameplay, strategies, tips, gear, fusing of legendaries, and more. So if that's content that seems exciting to you, I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Upload about two to three times per week. And while you're at it, smash that like button. Leave me a comment. I read and respond to all the comments, even the mean ones. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, we're making a legendary frozen bracelet today. This took me quite a while to get my hands on with, um, you know, getting a lot of grays and of course purchasing chests. I never hide that I do this. I think the frozen bracelet is the best bracelet in game. Here's the stats of it before. I, I really enjoy it over any of the other bracelets because the frozen bracelet freezes enemies when you enter a room which can give you that one to two second advantage so you can knock out a couple enemies, take them out so that when you're clearing out rooms, you don't die. Well, that's the idea behind it. So that's why it's my favorite bracelet. But I'm excited to see if there's any new perks added to it or any new higher uh, damage potential. We're gonna go ahead and fuse this in three, two, one. Bum ba -da -dum bum bum bum. Wow, that looks really pretty the bracelet because it's a gold bangle. Mm. So okay, so we have a new level cap, of course, the 60. Attack 30 plus on that, freeze time 2.5 seconds. I thought it might get a little bit something more on crit, so I'm actually pretty disappointed. Um, I have scrolls, I can level this up twice, but I don't have the gold. Yeah, I thought crit damage was gonna go up, to be honest, I'm, I'm actually quite disappointed. Okay, so increasing it would just be 12. I had to gain 24 more attack. But let's uh, do a screenshot comparison of just what my stats were before with the um, perfect epic versus legendary. And you can see what is the increase of an attack there. Let's go ahead and check out the 2.5 second freeze. If it's anything noticeable. Diagonal arrows, we have the staff. So let's go ahead and, and run through this really quick. All right, it looks uh, looks like it's an okay attack advantage. I didn't really notice anything as far as, you know, the freeze being longer. It's so minute of a difference. I, mm, I don't know. Leave me a comment down below if you guys notice any difference. If you have like the perfect epic or the epic version, so you have the 2.2 seconds. Let me know if you see any difference in how long they're frozen. We'll clear out this chapter really quick. I'll just speed through this, do some jump cutting, and then let's, I'll get back to you guys in a second here. So coming up on the boss, the boss is basically dead in like two seconds, essentially. Yeah, we'll take front arrows just for the hell of it. But honestly, um, it, is even less freezing. It's about the same freezing time for the epic uh, in the legendary on bosses. So they are not really affected by it for very long. They're about a second. So that hasn't changed. Uh, this is bullet hell for them for once instead of for us, which is always a nice change. You know, I guess that 0.3 extra seconds could potentially make up a difference if you're on like chapter 13 and you have the sand skeleton wannabes, you know, because they get really aggressive and they're kind of aggravating to deal with, so you'd be able to take them out a little bit quicker. But for the majority of players, I can't honestly say that you're going to see significant difference in the freeze time. If it would have been three seconds, I'd say, yeah, but only going up by 0.3, maybe 
the ancient legendary goes up by 0.5 so it'd be three seconds total but considering <clears throat> that this took me forever to get the legendary frozen bracelet it's going to be quite a bit before i have the ancient legendary because i'm going to put up a screenshot here for you to check out I'll take hp boost but this is the next closest bracelet i have that's going to be able to become legendary i don't use the fire bracelet but this is the next bracelet i'll be able to get to legendary and thus then fuse the legendary and the legendary together make an ancient legendary so it's going to be the fire bracelet so right now i only have four epics as you can see and as you can also see the chapter is complete we knocked it out fairly quickly hooray it's level 51 <laughs> i am going to definitively say that no it's not actually worth to try and farm your way to it i mean if it happens naturally as you're playing sure but should you pump tons of cash into the game or you know farm your ass off no i think that if you're farming for the weapons like the staff or for the cloak or any of the rings would be a better use of your time than really going ham fist trying to get the bracelet the bracelet is not going to make or break that much as you can see at legendary it's only 2.5 seconds so to answer the question no i don't think it's worth it but I do think it's one of the best bracelets in the game. So it's still a great bracelet to be able to get, but don't die if you don't have legendary. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Now, if you guys want to see me do a comprehensive video on all the bracelets to kind of compare them and get my thoughts and opinions, leave me a comment down below, you know? I do try to please you guys with content that you enjoy. But let me know if that's a video that you'd like to see. I have a question of the day for you guys though. What is your favorite bracelet and why? leave it down below in a comment and again smash that like button while you're down there really helps out my channel to grow with the youtube algorithm and i'm really interested to read your comments on what you guys think is the best bracelet and why so leave that comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload upload about two three times per week however that is the end of the video before you go check out these other videos on the side hopefully they suit your fancy and i'll see you guys next time I'm Gazda.